So our last race of week eight on the hunt is a two mile six furlong the members cup here. Hunt to chase Castle Town Boy for Ryan Costello is number one in top weight. Toby Copperfield, Martin Leader, Tate's all scores for Davy Ladd, Ballard, Delamere for Alex Jerry, Bunfell for Daniel French, Botman for Dan Hughes, Glenna Sheehan Parks for James Shea, and Red Cape for Thomas Rogers. Just eight of them. If you go over two mile six, nice aerial shot there. Drift away. And let's see who can take the last race of the week. Is Ballard Delamere that's going to lead us for Alex Cherry into the first of 19. Takes it slowly. Bit of a mistake at the rear by Red Cape. But he's still on his feet. So it's Ballard Delamere going to lead us down to the second. Glenn Machine Parks, Botman, David Copperfield. Takes that one much better. Everyone's over it. Bumbo was a little bit slow towards the rear. Plenty of racing to go. Still just under two and a half miles to travel. So it is Ballard down there, it's level over three. Take them to the fourth. He's got a four length advantage from Glenna Sheehan Parks against the fence. Botman out wide with David Coffield between horses. A length and a half back to Teasel Scores and Red Cape. And a further length to Castle Town Boy and Bum Bell to get to the fourth. The leader gets over it. Slow jump over that from Botman. And it is Ballard de la Mer. David Copperfield. Lenishian Parks, Botman, Teasel Scores, Bunbell, Red Cape and Castle Town Boy. Take the fifth. He does a little bit slower over it. Oh, took that a little bit uh, cautiously. That'll be the last next time round. We go past the winning post. There's Balladella now that's going to lead this out for uh, another two miles. From David Copperfield in second. Lenishian Parks is third. Teasel Scores, the grey is four. The six. He jumps out a little bit better. Castle Town Boy is a little bit slow over it. But still well in touch. Swing right handed. Approach the seventh. It is Ballard de la Mer. Skips over it. As does the rest. Nice big jump there by Teasel. Scores the great. Ballard de la Mer from David Copperfield. Teasel scores in Glenishian Parks. Bum Bell in the Green Silks. Yellow hoops and maybe yellow star on his cap. Oh, and the one that went through the top of that was Botman. Lost all his momentum and drifts right to the back and just uh, falls a length or so behind the last. So the mile and a half still to go. It's Ballard de la Mer from Glenishian Park to get to the big ditch. Everyone's over it. Ball jump by Bumbell. Alex Cherry's horse is right to lead. So it is Ballard de la Mer. Glenishian Park, David Copperfield, Teasel scores. We get over the tenth. I think we have to go round again. I made a mistake last time. Still got another nine fences to take. Still another mile and a quarter to run. But it's Ballard de la Mer from David Copperfield. Teasel scores. Glenishian Parks and Red Cape Bunbell. Castle Town Boy in the White Silks Black Cap. Get to the 11th. They all take it. Botman steps over it. And the rear. So Ballard de la Mer. From the magician David Copperfield. David Copperfield out of Charles Dickens, whatever you want to say. I think most people would know David Copperfield the magician rather than David Copperfield the Charles Dickens character. But uh, Martin likes to tell us Uriah Heep is his other Dickens character, not the heavy metal band. We're inside the mile now, and they will go out for another circuit. And then they're still being led by Ballard de la Mer from David Copperfield in second. Nice big jump there by Bun Belt. Were still on their feet. They've been through 13. They get to the 14th. Leader jumps it well. Slow jump by second. David Copperfield still at the back. Uh, the three that again a little bit detached. A Castle Town Boy, Red Cape, and Botman. But up front, Ballard de la Mer just with a two length advantage from David Copperfield. Out wide is Bum Bell. In between those is Teasel Scores and Glenna Sheehan Parks. Poor jump there by Ballard de la Mer and a fast jump by David Copperfield allows him to bring alongside. But running on really well now is Teasel Scores for David Robertson. As it's Teasel Scores that takes it up inside the final half mile now. So it's Teasel Scores that takes the ditch well from David Copperfield in second. Ballard de la Mer is just starting to slip backwards. Bum Bell's trying to run on Glenna Sheehan Parks. Nothing else is in this, but Teasel Scores got a four length advantage with three furlongs to go. Get 
gets over the 17th. Two to jump. It's Teasel scores by five from David Copperfield. Balladella Mare has not got a lot left. Bum Bell and Balladella, oh, oh, sorry, Glenashie and Park's got a lot to do. They swing right handed now with just two to jump. And it is Teasel scores by three from David Copperfield in second. Bum Bell is third. So Teasel scores gets to the penultimate. Gets over it well, a little bit slow, but on the inside is David Copperfield. Jumped it better. So inside a furlong and a half, and it's Teasel scores from David Copperfield, the king of the hunter. It is David Copperfield that takes it up as we swing right handed to the last. Only a furlong left to run. And it's Martin Leedham's David Copperfield from Teasel scores. Bumbell trying to run on now. Half a furlong left to go. Oh, and he went straight through the top of it, but Teasel scores didn't jump it better. Bumbell was the best, but he's not going to catch him, is he? The lines come in time for the magician of David Copperfield. Bumbell in second. Teasel scores his third. He magicked himself over that last fence to just hang on. Martin Leedham wins another hunter chase. Two out of the three for the week. Puts him on a very nice lead of six wins. I think the nearest is Daniel French with three now, but it is David Copper for Martin Leedham. Second is Bumbell for Daniel French. Three at third was Teasel scores for Davy Ladd unlucky. Fourth was going to Sheehan Parks for James Say, and fifth was Ballard de la Mer for Alex Cherry.